What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to the second part of our Attack on the Library in Mordheim City of the Damned. I don't really even know where to begin at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up right where I left off, I haven't stopped recording at all, but uh, this place scares the bejesus out of me, I do not like this area. Okay, I'm going to do something potentially stupid, which is what got me killed last time. But I'm going to try and get to that. Um, I've decided I really want to loot that. I want to make sure I'm not going to miss it. Because if it's another ability that gives me like three points, it's worth it to try and get it. So we're going to move everybody forward a really long ways. I might risk losing somebody small and weak if something pops through unexpectedly. But that's just a risk I'm going to have to take. Case in point. Oh dear. Still, if he's going for snuts, that's not the worst thing in the world. That's a problem. I really hate the blood letter. Okay, good. Fortunately, he missed Rickett. Hit him back. Oh, man. Snuts is already out of it. Just gone. That's really, really, really not fun. Okay. Now, the thing doesn't have any... Offense points left, so we're gonna go ahead and just try and waste him as fast as humanly possible. Which means Filch, you're gonna get all the way over here and start swinging. <laughs> Filch, not okay, pal. There you go. The warp poison is really critical at this particular stage because I need him to not have an entire full bar of offense points. Now, Scurry costs three points. I'm going to have him delay until he only has three points remaining so that I can provide the Scurry bonus to as many of my rats as possible. Ugh, I'm so sorry, Snuts. I really didn't want you to go down, but that's okay. All right, he made his terror test, which I love. So hit him normally once, which gives us the fatality bonus. From there, we've also got access to Swarm, so we can Vital Strike. Uh, twice. Well, eh, no. Two normal attacks is fine. As long as we're doing damage, I'm happy with it. It'll just have to be good enough. That's not ideal, but okay. And sidestep. Oh, this is concerning. I really want him to die very, very quickly. Ricket, do your thing, pal. Again, you don't hit for a whole lot of damage, but every little bit helps. I probably should have had him disengaged, to be honest. But I'll take what I can get. Who's next? All right, he's next. He's gonna delay. Now the problem too is I'm risking him a lot because he won't be able to dodge and get the benefit of the uh, scurry ability. Okay, now if I send you all the way over here, you could warp poison, but there isn't any point to that because warp poison doesn't stack. Weeping poison does. Ah, he failed his terror test. That's not ideal. Strong blow. I mean, we've still got a 79% chance. Good. Oh, but the terror test reduces the... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. All right, well, um, parry. No, dodge, because we're going to be improving that with um, Filch. Okay. Pink Horror gets to take its turn. Man, we still have to locate all these stupid things, too. That's the real problem here. Go ahead and aim at the blood letter. Oh, that was beautiful. Reload. And you go ahead and just march yourself right up there. That was awesome. There was one thing I needed to have happen. That was pretty much it. Okay. Now, moving forward. I 
Everyone advances. Corey, is your inventory full? I don't think it is. I could be wrong. No, not even close. So grab the physical grimoire as well. Okay, you're done. Uh, pink horror. Man, I need to see this map here real quick. I'll bet you... Oh, sorry, I was just scrub back. That is probably the mark for the curator. Almost positive. Obviously, these two are still floating around over here. If I had to guess... Wait a minute, what color did... Did Lump run through? That's something worth checking out. Um, I may change my mind here very shortly. Because I know that Lump ran through... No, he ran through the one that was over here. What color is that one? So that was the pink one. That's the yellowy color one, isn't it? This is red. The yellow one leads back to where the Damonette was. Okay, so we came all the way over here, but we're actually not in the right place. So we should go for either the green one next or the cyan one. Uh, Overwatch, please. God, this library is freaking confusing. I'm also making the assumption that those points will all lead to the same area, which might be a very poor assumption, but it's one that we're going to make regardless. Is that the same color? I don't know. I can't tell. And this is also really difficult for me, guys. i got to be honest. Because I'm not sure if the one that I'm looking at down here is precisely the same color as the one that's up there. Looking at them, that one looks lighter to me, but I'm colorblind. And so, this is really difficult for me to tell. I might have to just risk it and send somebody through there anyway, just to be sure. A new round has started. That may be what I do. <sighs> Not really thrilled with the idea, but that might be what I have to do. Okay, and like before, I have to risk somebody, so it's going to be squick. Which I'm not thrilled about, but I think it's what we need to do. We're going to send him through here. I hope I don't regret this. Yellow area. Okay, so there's a blue one down there. And a couple more loot points over here. One of which is all yellow and important looking, so I probably ought to investigate that. Um, yellow. But there's no other way in here, and the blue one's what's going to take me out. Oh, man. There are so many points in here. This place is just awful. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. Squick's going to come here. He'll end his turn. We'll send everybody through, and then they can all come... Well, actually, no. I don't need to. Um, I'll send just one person in there to go help loot. The rest of them will basically stand guard. And then we'll all go through the next warp point, which will probably be the green one. Buddy. I'm going to send you through so Whiskers can back you up so that neither one of you is there by yourself. Anything down here I need to worry about? Where the hell am I? Oh, well this is important, because there's a marker over here. Um, it might be above us, though. Yep, it's up there. Okay, so this is somewhere important we need to send everybody through. Alright, while we're here, Buddy should have some inventory space, so if he can get to it... Nope, just all dusty tomes. Okay, that's fine. And you can end your turn right there. Whiskers, head on through. Now, I still don't... Ooh, careful. That'll probably just send us back, actually, so it's fine. Um, oh, it's all my guys down there. <laughs> hey, dudes. Okay. Um, can I see anybody from up here for sure? No. 
No, I cannot. Okay, so looking at this map, there are three things we still have to do. Two of them involve locating and securing the Dark Tomes. And one of them is... Wait, steal Dark Tomes to provoke the Curator and then kill the Curator. So I don't think the Curator is here until after the Tomes go. So why are there still that many points? There might be another objective somewhere for us to complete. Um, I'm nervous about sending him up there, but we're going to go for it. There's no enemies that I can see in the area. Yeah, I know. Um, how many points does he have left? One. Okay, I'm not sending him up there to climb with one point. He will just have to end his turn. I don't want him to climb up there, A new then run into an enemy, started. and not be able to move, and get stranded up there dealing with whatever it is without the ability to do anything about it. Now, Squick, you have to go through. You've got the warp rods that we need to actually access all that, so you have to go through. You've got two. If you succeed this, you can get up there and still have... Come on, guys. I really can't afford to be wasting all of your hit points just climbing. Get up there. Okay. I don't see any enemies. That part is great. Um, you don't have enough movement to get anywhere, really, so I'm going to have you stand on top of this. Because nobody should be able to get you that way. Okay. Now, Filch... You know what? I'm gonna have to use that cyan one next. See, they're just right up there, so I could have them hop down here without any problems. Okay, so I'm gonna send Filch through. Maybe? Yeah, we'll send Filch through. I really don't need to send everybody through, but I'll send my two high initiative guys through. Okay, well, he took care of the trap then. Um, he could probably make that jump really easily, so go ahead and do it. Objectives updated. I just want to see what's in this chest, and then I'm going to actually have him go back. 17 gold crowns. Well, that might be worth it, but I don't have enough inventory, and I don't really want to send anybody else up here. So, it's fine. Leap across. He can't move. Crap. Okay, well, you're done. Um, I don't need to send anybody else up there. I just don't. So, the rest of you are pretty much just gonna move forward and end your turns around the cyan point so that we can go and do that as soon as we're ready. I don't feel great about the fact that there's still some random enemy out there that I don't know about. Okay, you are going to delay. Then Filch is going to come over here and occupy the space you were on. Scurry's going to come up here and end his turn. Plague Bearer's just going to, whatever, hang out. Now, Squick, you're going to come over here. Please don't fail this, pal. Thank you. you're going to break the ward. Objectives updated. And I'm going to have to spend a movement point to do this. Yes. Crap. Fine. Gather the dark tone. Objectives updated. Which also means Squick is stranded up here because he can't make it back without spending a movement point. And so he gets to here and that's it for him. He can't go anywhere. So he's done. Uh, you'll go ahead and be done as well. Pretty much everybody down here will probably also be done as well, because there's no point. Right? Right, okay. You're done. Ah, I have to keep these guys together. I cannot let any of them get isolated and just picked off by the monsters that are in this area. A new round has started. Yeah, I saw Damonette. There is a Damonette down here somewhere. And she's over there somewhere. I'm, that's the only one that I haven't seen. So that makes sense that she's the only one that's over there. Ugh. 
he jumps down, it's a 69. If he jumps over, it's a 75, but then he'll still have to jump down anyway, so jump down. Good. And then use the blue warp point. And head right on over. And you're done. Filch, you're already over here, so go ahead and jump. And then you can just head to here and do it again, because you have a 92% chance, so, I mean, what the hell. Okay. And then I'll have you come over here and end your turn. Now. Uh, choices, choices, choices. I'm going to end Scurry's turn, and then I'm going to start advancing people through that cyan point. So, Ricket, good luck, pal. What do we got? Pink Horror. I don't care for it, but we can handle it. Um, we're all the way over here. And we are up at the top. At least. Okay. Um, I need you to make a perception for me, buddy. Of course you did. Okay, fine. Uh, well, come hang over, hang out over here then, and end your turn. Corey, head on through. Can you make a perception test for me? There we go. Is that a trap? I really want it to be. It is. Awesome. Okay. So you come over here, search this old dusty tome. Nothing that's helpful. Fine. Now. I'm going to have you end your turn. Oh, crap. Shoot, I screwed that up. I didn't realize he was coming up that fast in the initiative order. Um, oh, man, there's a good chance he's going to die. The intention was supposed to be to use the trap to stop him from charging, waste some of his points, and prevent him from getting really nasty hits off. Flames. If he wastes all of them on him, though, I can live with that. And he failed the cast, which is even better. And he missed. Way to go, Ricket. Okay, so now we just have to send people through and start wasting this dick. Scrabak, you're up first, which I actually really like, because it means I can put you somewhere relatively safe. Um, okay, I recognize that area at least. You shoot him... You could shoot once, then reload and shoot again, so go ahead and do it. Maybe we hit, maybe we don't, but that's okay. Reload. Um, and he can even aim. If I do a regular shot, though, he could reload again and be prepared for the next round. But, you know, go for the aim. I want this thing to die as fast as possible. Nice. Okay, and you're done. Whiskers, head on through. Uh, avoid the trap. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to go for a charge, necessarily, either. Uh, I can't kill it. Plus, I might not make the terror test, and I really don't want to deal with that. So, get in there. And of course, he fails. Still, he's got a good shot. Hit him once, please, for consume the dodge. Yes! So much better. Uh, don't disengage. Just take a parry stance, and you're done. And then, buddy. Pal, you could probably finish him off. That would be ideal. Um, can you grab Wordstone before you do, though? Oh, yeah. You can grab all that Wordstone before you do. So far, so good. Gather that one, too. I hate this library so very, very much. Fragment. Good, 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 good. And we're gonna go stab this dude in his ugly, ugly face. 
He made his test, which is fantastic. Hit him. Oh, I was really hoping it would kill him so that I could get another attack on the blue one next turn. Still, he dies. Now the blue ones come into existence. Oh, crap. Of course, now the real big problem is that I just blocked the warp point. So the guys that are here have to cope with all of this. Crap, and they keep using Mark of Enervation, which is not good either, because it means they get less attacks. Ow. God, enough with the Mark of Enervation. If you guys could parry one of those, that would be great. Though for all I know, their attacks started. can't be parried either. Can you... Ugh, come on. Please tell me you can get through. Oh, he can. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, okay, because that's not the entrance point. Okay, that's... Okay, we're, we're good there. Uh, if I go there, I'm probably going to hit him with the trap. It's a risk I have to take, though, because I really need to be fighting these guys. And he failed, unsurprisingly. Oh, come on. I'm hoping to at least consume their dodge chances, but it's not working for me. Okay. Filch, you're next. Need you to start wasting some guys, pal. Uh, warp poison, please. First things first. And get your butt down here and take on this one. I want him to die first, because if I don't, I might lose Ricket. Okay, there's his dodge. Come on, Filch. There you go. Damage needs to be happening here. As much as humanly possible. Well, as much as ratly possible, I suppose. It's 90. There you go, 142 damage. That's some solid damage that we were able to deal. And I like the idea of using Scurry. So that everybody here gets bonuses to age dodge stance. Which is something I pretty desperately need given what's about to happen. Okay. Except for Scurry, unfortunately, but Scurry can handle himself. Ugh. So he failed the fear test. All right, so he got a dodge fail. He gets the fatality boost, so go for a vital strike. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Two more standard attacks. So these ugly sons of bitches probably won't get a whole lot of time to do damage. They did enough, unfortunately, but we're doing well given that I screwed up what I was supposed to be expecting, we're doing all right. And you failed your fear test. Of course you did. Come on, pal. You got two chances. There you go. So now Rickett is not in any danger of immediately dropping. Now, we already checked that point. There was nothing there. God, that's the most irritating part of this, is the fact that this whole area... Oh was not useless. Um, it wasn't ideal. But there was a point to coming here, because it's going to lead me to my next area. Take him out. I uh, probably should have gone with a strong blow, but... Oh, well. They're dead. I'm happy about it. Moving on. Everybody start moving across, but don't jump down. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time I had this opportunity, which was... Shoot him first. Oh, right, because he has to reload. Boom! And reload and do it again. Good. And you're done. Buddy keeps failing his fear test, which I don't like at all. Now, I guess the trick is, do I want to send him down there? I kind of do and kind of don't. The thing is in an ambush stance, but if he charges, which he should be able to do from there, he could get an attack off, but 
But he's in kind of a nasty situation at the moment. Whiskers isn't much better. They're both at about half health. He's got 180, he's got 159. Um, still, it might be worth it. Okay, we're gonna take the risk. Ugh. Yep, at least you got minimal damage Objective from it. Complete. Can you make a charge? Yes, you can. It's a pitiful chance, but you can make a charge. Now he'll get to swing back at us, unfortunately. Which didn't feel good, and yeah, plague. But, now he doesn't get to charge me. Oh, and they both failed again. Great. Destination points of... Ah, oh, crap. Well, that's really not what I wanted. Okay, nothing I can do about it now. A new round has started. We'll just have to let him deal with it as best he can. Um, I'll move everybody else forward so that when that point becomes available, we can make advantage, take advantage of it. Um, but basically what this is going to turn into is I will keep supporting him as long as I can. With all of my other rats. Is anybody else back here still? No, they're all ahead. Okay, so Plague Bearer's turn next. Stench of Nurgle. Whoa, what the hell did you just do to me? I'm not familiar with these monsters. I don't like it. Ah, oh, oh, come on. I don't want Buddy to drop. Oh, God. Okay. That was ugly. Please stop failing your freaking fear tests. Are you affected by that? Minus two. Oh. Well, nothing I can do about it. End your turn. Reload. He's fortunately immune to that effect. Thank Christ. And I can keep shooting at him, which is nice, but that's about all I got going for me at the moment. Um, we can try Poison Globe. I can't even see where that's gonna land. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now I can see it at least. So if I stick it out way over there, I should be able to avoid poisoning Buddy. But I don't even know if this is gonna work on him. I'm gonna try it anyway. He's probably immune to it, but... And all the poison from the sword attacks. God, quit failing your fear test. Okay, disengage. What? Oh, there is a wide open space. You should be able to... Oh, Buddy has the amok situation. He can't. That's a very important detail that I completely forgot. Well, nothing I can do about it now. Good, he failed his dodge. Swing away. Ah, crap. All right, Buddy's... Buddy's toast. Take a parry stance, but Buddy is very, very likely screwed. Um... Hold on a second there, guys. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about the slight delay there. There's nothing we can do. We just have to let Buddy see what he can A deal with. Round has started. I hate this so much. Okay, good. He made his fear test. And everyone else just has to basically deal with this. Alright. Bye, buddy. Oh, hey, he managed to parry. That's nice. It's not going to stop the other three attacks, but... Renewing the stench of Nurgle effect. There it is. Okay, that's it for him. Um, he failed his. He doesn't have to make one. 
I'm just gonna keep shooting at him for now. If he moves, then we can get down there and maybe we can actually try and finish this. But as it stands, I'm better off just trying to kill this thing from up here, because that thing is brutally difficult to kill. If I can get a whole bunch of guys around him, I got a good chance, but when he's on his own like that, it's not worth it to jump. It's not worth it to spend guys trying to kill started. him. Ugh, I don't like that my morale has taken that much of a hit either. We're done, we're done. His turn, what's he gonna do? If that's all he's gonna do, then I don't need to spend any points doing this. You're done, you're done, you're shooting. Reloading. And shooting. Okay guys, this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna keep doing this. Um, I'm not gonna make you all watch as I continually end everybody's turn over and over again. A new round has started. So we'll come back in as soon as the thing dies. Oh. Okay, that's worth showing you. Turns out he can fight back even from a range. That sucks a lot. God, quit failing your fear test. Okay. I don't like this, but given that he can shoot at my Plague Wind Globadier, I can't risk leaving him down there anymore either. So, Corey, time for you to be the hero, pal. Corey, come on, buddy. Charge in. Good, he made the success, the fear test. Surprised. I'm unsurprised that the poison doesn't seem to be doing squat to him. That didn't feel good. Ugh. Very stance. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. I really need your help here. If you can roll high, you can kill him. If you kill him... Corey will be safe for sure, and we'll be able to start leaping down there. But you have to roll really high to kill him. I need at least a 40. Nope, 36. Well, as much as that Nurgle thing hurt, I'd rather provide an extra target that won't be Corey. A new round has started. Ugh, okay. This is the last time we'll have to deal with the Plague Bearer, but that thing is absurdly strong. I hate this thing. Good, he missed. Parry fail, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Good, he missed again. He still hit me twice, though, which means that Plague Sword's gonna do more damage. I really don't love, oh, for the love of God, dude, seriously. You're done. You're gonna take at least, yep, there's 11 points of damage. Ah, oh, kill him now. Come on, Corey. This can't be a thing, he needs to drop. Thank you. Please don't split. Good, he didn't. I don't need to loot my own guy, so we're okay with that. Is there anything in here I care about? money. Okay. Well, that was not fun. I did not enjoy that. At all. You're done. Uh, go ahead and jump down. He's got a high agility, so that's okay for him. Uh, reload. Then you come right over here. I doubt anything's gonna come after us, but take an overwatch. Ugh. The part that has me the most concerned about this is just the fact that everyone is... We're pretty worn down right now. A lot of my rats are at, like, half health. A couple of them are still at full. But we're... We're wearing down pretty quick. It's it's getting ugly. And A we still have to fight started. and kill the curator. We've almost completed... 
Yeah, yeah, Sentry of Nurgle, I know. Jump down. As soon as this is done, we'll have completed three out of the four objectives. All we've got left at this point will be... Interact to break the ward. We'll be the curator. Objective completed. Which is going to make it extra frustrating if that's where Objective I lose. Objective completed. Okay. Curator Waldmar was lured. Okay, so he's over there at initiative order 99, apparently. And it doesn't tell me where he is. Yes, it does. It does ish. Uh, it looks like he's in the blue area. Is there something else there? That's where the plague guy was. It says we can see him. Does that just mean we know where he is, or that he's actually visible? Is he down below me? Oh my god, he's right there. Jesus, I'm an idiot. I did not even see him. Crap. Okay, well you're done. Oh, I don't like this either. I don't like this at all. Filch, Warp, Poison. This guy can cast spells, so I'm gonna have to try and risk this. I want him to just die. That's my goal. I wish I didn't have to do this whole stench of Nurgle crap to do it, but... Did not even realize he was standing two inches in front of me. Uh, I don't want to risk losing Filch, though, either, so Filch actually needs to stand back. I'm going to have Filch come right to here, and I'm going to have him delay. I'm going to get as many guys down here as I can, and engage with him. I am am going to probably risk Scurry, which I hate saying, but... Ugh... Scurry might be able to crit stun him, which would be great. Okay. Standard attack. He does have the potential for a counter attack, but we can deal with it. Wow. He does hit kind of hard, though. Still, he failed. We should get the vitality bonus to go for a vital strike. Yes! That's what I like to see. And then make an attack. Okay, so now, um, you're going to go ahead and take a sidestep. And see, at this point, we can disengage for free. So as long as the guys that I'm sending in there have the movement points to get out and leave space for the next guy to come in, I can basically just keep cycling out hitters. That's also assuming I can get somebody in there to hit back, though, which I think I can. Oh, but they have to have room to disengage, too. Okay, that's not ideal. All right, so I'm gonna bring you back here. You're just gonna end your turn. Oh, I hate that plague sword. How many turns does that affect him for? Wow, that's freaking brutal. Okay, well, Corey's unfortunately worth the risk. So I'm gonna send him in there and just dish out damage to this guy. Oh, seriously, I can't? Crap. Okay. That was not a great place for him to appear. Alright. Well, go ahead and give everybody the scurry bonus that's standing right here. And just end your turn. He can still shoot this guy? Oh, right, of course he can. He's right over there. Well, um, we do have the bonus of this as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, okay. I'm not going to be able to attack him, that's kind of okay with me, but with Strangling Globe, I can prevent this son of a bitch from casting spells. And that might be the best thing I can even possibly begin to do. I do not need that guy casting at me. And Scrabak will take a dodge stance, and he's done. Okay, guys, this could be the end of this freaking mission, which I would love. Everyone else just needs to end their turns. Okay, so he's up next. Stun Recovery, which gives him a penalty, as well as the Warp Poison. Right? No, we didn't Warp Poison him. We wanted to, but we weren't able to. Misses. And he's done. But he gets a dodge stance. I can live a with that. A new round has started. I get my dodge. He misses. And I still have another dodge. He's done. 
but he takes a dodge. This is going to be irritating, isn't it? Pretty much definitely. Can you disengage? You can. Thank Christ. Get out of there. You're not worth risking. You have important stuff that I don't want to lose. You're done. Now, he can hit for about 50, but if that's it, I'm okay risking it. And Filch can dish out a lot of damage very quickly. So Filch is going to warp poison. And then Filch is going to get in there and start ripping this guy a new one. Wait, does this deal with dodge stances? I don't think so. Parry, dodge, web of... Ooh, it does. True distraction. Now he doesn't get the dodge chance. Even better. Now, tear this guy apart. And the warp poison removes the extra points that he gets for counterattacking. So now this guy is a sitting duck. I could not have asked for anything better. Liking how this is going. Dodge stance. Okay, guys, I'm pretty confident in saying I think we can win this at this point. Okay, go for an attack. Get the fatality bonus. Go for a vital strike. I'm probably just gonna go for another vital strike rather than try and get the two. So I've actually got left. Nuts. I was really hoping I could get another, um, another crit so that I could pull Scurry out of there and start laying into him with other guys, but that's okay. We're doing what I need to do right now. Corey, you're just going to stand there and try to withstand all these stupid Plague Sword abilities. You can't get in there to do anything anyway. Okay, now that Strangling Globe does only last for one turn, so we're going to have to keep renewing it, but it's absolutely worth it to me not to have him casting spells. Come on, I'm trying to get just the dude without catching... Come on, I did this just a second ago. There we go. Get him without catching Filch. I don't know if he resisted or if he's affected, but one way or the other, we're good. You're done. You're done, because there's no space for you. A new round has started. Okay, he did get to hitch Filch, which is unfortunate. He misses Scurry, thanks to Sidestep. And he's probably done. He can't take a dodge stance, so he's just finished. Squick, you're done. And we're right back to this, so... Start with... Oh, he can't warp poison, though. Yeesh. How much can you attack for? 64, 73. Um, oh, he's out of... Yeah, he can't counter attack, so just start drop. Just doing damage. Two. Ooh, there we go. 94. Didn't stun him, but that's okay. It's three. This could be it. Uh, no, it can't. He'll live, unless we crit. Didn't crit, but that means Scurry will almost definitely get to kill him off. You're done. Take him out, Scurry. Whop. And I think... Objective complete. I think, I think, I think. Oh, cut the curator's New heart out? Are added. you serious? That is so badass. Okay. Um, Rickett's inventory's full, so he's just done. Corey should be able to do this. Curator's heart, and we'll take the staff of warding while we're at it. Objective complete. Please tell me we're done. New objectives added. Oh god, secure the curator's heart in your car. Oh, so now I have to get back to the cart. Okay, well we know a short way down there because that's where Lump came from. So in theory, if we send down that way, okay, that's what we got to do. Ugh. This freaking mission, guys. I hate this thing. Okay, take a dodge stance in case something comes through there. I'm not expecting that it will, but I really don't want to risk it. Um, okay, so head on down this way. Jump down. So far, so good. Head to here and set up an overwatch so something does come through. We're ready for it. 
God, this one might run a little long, but I, I'm so close to the end of this mission, I don't want to just cut it and then have the next episode be like five minutes. So, okay. We're gonna run through here. Oh, he's done. So ambush in case somebody comes through. I can't risk losing Cory now, because he's at low health. A new round has started. Next round. God, who even knows what's in that next area, too. Where is our cart? Our cart is down there. Now, in theory, we're not really at risk of anything, but I'm just really concerned that that's going to turn out to be a mistake on my part. Miscalculation of some sort. Jump down. Head forward. End your turn. Bilch. Jump down. Head forward. And end your turn. We're just going to keep everybody getting down there first. This is going to be the same rule we've always followed. Get everybody in position to go through that portal before anybody does. And right now, Cory is the important one to get through. Because cory has got the heart. If Cory can successfully secure that heart in our cart... Man, that's a weird rhyme. I'm pretty sure that'll be the end of the mission. At least I dearly freaking hope it is, because I'm really sick of being here. Okay, Corey, move forward a bit, but I do not want you going through there yet. You're done. Scrabak, likewise, I don't want you running through there. It's just not something you're going to be able to handle on your own. Whiskers, it's a risk for you. But I need to see what's on the other side, and it'll be the next round here shortly. So far... Nobody's here or in the immediate area, so that's awesome. So I'm gonna have Cory, or not Cory, Whiskers move forward and he'll set up an ambush stance. So if anything does come through, hopefully he'll engage it before Cory needs to make his run for the cart. A new round has started. And now everybody just needs to run through. That's all we're doing. We're just making the run back to the cart. I'm going to use my little guys. Wait, no. Squick's got the books. I can't lose Squick either. So, Squick, just keep moving. You're done. Filch, I don't want to risk you getting wasted by a daemon net either, so you're also going to just keep moving. I don't think he's holding anything super valuable, other than the wordstone boxes, which I also can't lose. So, you're done back here. Scurry. I really don't want to lose you, but you're going to set up an ambush stance as, again, sort of a hold-the-line mechanic to protect anything that comes through. Or protect my guys from anything that comes through. Rickett's looking pretty haggard, so he's just going to keep moving. Just don't block up any of the entrances or exits. Corey. Oh, we are so close. I just don't want this to suddenly go south on me now. Okay, you won't quite have enough to make it to the cart. Just all but. Screw back. Um, Overwatch stance. So we've got two ambushes and an Overwatch ready to go. Where the hell is Whisker? Whiskers is still in the same place. So set up an ambush and we're good. Now it starts the new round. Yes. A new round has started. Round 29. It has taken 29 rounds to complete this freaking mission. Assuming nothing else happens that causes it to take 30. Which it better not. You're done. Filch, you're done. Scurry. Ambush. I just gotta get back around to Cory. Man, Rickett, you've been failing every test since like halfway through this stupid map. Secure the heart in the chest. There it is. Object oh, complete. we're finally done with the freaking library. I, have... <laughs> I don't like that mission. Okay, so we did lose three guys. I'm trying to remember who we lost. We lost Lump. Uh, we lost Snuts. And we lost Buddy. 
but we killed, wow, 10? Really? Jeez. Man, Scrabac apparently was our number one guy. Did lots of damage, enemies knocked out. Great job. We got a bunch of Wordstone. So, as long as none of the injuries were too severe, I'm gonna call this a win. Nasty farm mage thing. Uh, you guys know the drill. Yes, if you want to read it, yes. pause it, because it's Demon not going to stay up for long. Competing. <laughs> and Demon we're done. First of many. Oh, okay. So that's the achievement you get when somebody reaches rank ten. Okay. So Skirt or Corey received a light wound. It'll take him two days. That's okay. And he's one point from rank ten. Of course he is. Outstanding. Scrabac Tailclaw has reached rank five. Well done, my friend. Whiskers is three points away from rank 10. Buddy has an internal wound. Ah, oh, that sucks. So he just loses an offense point. That sucks. The gods are with you. But he's now rank 10. Six skill points and a physical advancement. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Uh, he ranked up. Squick did not quite rank up, I don't think. Snuts has a full recovery. The gods are with you. And did rank up. Lump has a full recovery. So happy about that. So, I'm gonna call this a win. We got five experience for the victory. We completed the next freaking mission for the story. I hate that library. I, I don't ever want to do that again. That was awful. Ugh. Got some wordstone out of it. We'll get another nice bonus for completing the mission, uh, which we're gonna go ahead and just end our day until we get those rewards, um, since we don't actually need to worry about shipments, and so that we can make sure everyone's wounds are you have all been dealt with. Rewarded. There you go. A complete Mordheim map, tome of abilities, clothing, light armor, heavy armor, and gold crowns. That seems pretty awesome to me. Um, I do want to take a look at our inventory real fast here and see what those tomes do. Tome of Abilities grants two skill points. Only usable out of combat. The item can be used once per warrior. It's kind of a bummer I didn't save skill points for him. If I did, I would have had him use that book and get the four that he needs to unlock the next sidestep bonus. Or maybe the fatality bonus would have been better. But regardless, um, I've got those books... I mean, somebody should have the others. I had more than just the one. Can I? Spear fighting halberd will probably be I'm confused. Do you have them? Oh, if I'm looking at the wrong version, I need to be looking over here. Tome of Abilities. Complete Mordheim map. Physical Grimoire and Mental Grimoire. There they are. So, grants three mental attribute points and grants three physical attribute points, so I can make anybody else I want even more monstrous. I might give that to Lump, actually. But, anyway, thank you all for sticking with me. This has been a long episode, and the last one's long, too. This is a very long mission to complete. But, we made it through. We finally cleared it. We'll get to check out what the next mission is, probably in the next couple of episodes, but we'll spend some time getting some more Wordstone and money, maybe training up some different units. Um, I might have to replace Buddy if that offense point becomes a major issue for me. Um, but we'll see. So if you've enjoyed the series thus far, please let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the section below. And as always, I will see everyone in the next video. Catch you guys later.